what's going on guys welcome back to clash today we're kicking off the extreme war league playoffs we have polish power versus activity esports today and we had a really cool attack that went under this war here that i really wanted to highlight it was a yeti kill squad hog attack very very cool attack here i'm not going to spoil it for you enjoy the war here and enjoy these two fantastic teams going at it as they face elimination here it's a round of 16 in the playoffs here so as you can see here they have to battle their way all the way up until we have a grand finals match there's gonna be a lot of wars going on here over the next couple weeks so definitely make sure you subscribe to the channel you like this video all right guys let's go dive in this and see these two teams in action all right guys here we go first attack of the war activity versus Polish power and Polish power is kicking it off here. Jane coming in with a queen charge minor attack. He's got that soul cyber selected initially. Going for the wall break. Does oh fails the wall break there to a small bomb. Now does this queen actually go in? She might get distracted over here, but she ah oh, she's gonna go to that side, isn't she? Yeah, she's gonna go to that side. Didn't get the quarter building down there, and that draws her just just barely off enough there that she goes to the cannon instead. Now how is he gonna recover this? Because it, He's going to have this queen marching right towards that single inferno now. Ground expo over there. The king comes down out in front of her. e dragon's going to step up actually and attack the town hall, I'm thinking. But the queen's going to get locked up on the enemy king there for a minute. King trying to avoid the range of that single inferno as he rounds that corner. He goes down. Barbarians will finish a little bit more over there, but the queen continues her march towards the town hall. He's going to have the healers getting attacked by the town hall. As soon as that e -drag activates it, he's not in a really good spot here. The queen has to pop her ability. She's going into multiple ground expos. Looks like three ground expos. She's not going to last very long there. Freezes the town hall. He needs to start the hogs and the miners into the town hall. He does not. He blimps the town hall instead. He's having the hogs and miners trying to go out to the single to protect the queen. They're a little bit too late there. She goes down. One healer survives. Blimp will take the town hall. No spells on it. So he does get it down. If he didn't get it down, he'd be in a lot of trouble here. But he does manage to get it down. 42% and climbing. He's got a couple of ground skills there. Tying up the miners. Miners have broken to the outside. They're into the bomb tower. He's going to have to heal through that bomb tower and the multi-inferno. He does well-placed healed there considering everything is going so south right now. Quarter Tesla. Not going to matter at this point here. 56% and counting. He will pick up a little bit more percentage on the top side. Pick it off whatever percentage he can grab. It went really south here very fast. And Jane is unfortunately going to come out with a lower percentage two star here. Not the best way to kick off here for Polish power. But got to work with what you got. If you miss even one building there, you're going to have a big problem with the funnel there. And the queen ended up walking on. Nothing you can do about that anymore. 66% is going to be the final. Nope. Wait. One more wizard over here. Going to pick up that storage there and get it to 67. Nice try. Rough. Rough way to kick it off. Oh, wait. Look at this. <laughs> OP wizard. The wizard's picking up like, what, 5 or 10%? I don't even know. He's getting a lot there. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. All One right. Year ago, this month I started following Eric on YT, and my attacks are light years ahead of where <laughs> they were. Thanks. All right, guys. Here we go. Woj coming in against Az. Coming in with a Yeti smash with five hog riders. What's he got planned for those? He's starting off with. Oh, he's got the siege barracks too. So he's gonna come in with a Yeti smash with one Pekka. And this, he's going to start off with his Warden Walk here. A lot of storages in that area. Quad quaking out nice and early. But this uh, ward is not going to move super fast here with all those storages. I'm surprised he didn't put a Baby Dragon or something on that corner. A minion comes down. I would have... Uh I would have thought you'd see a baby dragon up there because there's a lot of hit point worth of buildings up there. And my music is being stupid. Ah, come on, music. Oh, don't do that to me. Don't do me like that. All right, so the queen and the king coming down on the other side there. They're going to meet up with the warden in just a minute. The warden is moving along, but he's not going to penetrate very deep in the base there. He's just trying to get the perimeter defenses down, gets them down, and he can join up with the rest of the troops here. So the ground or the expo there 
was locked under the warden and we stepped away from it that uh, is a nice sigh of relief there because if the warden has an expo locked onto him it's very difficult for him to give up the healers there charging through the town hall big tesla farm as he moves into the base there that may divert some of his troops out there to go over through the king pad through the builder hut and go out the back side of the base there let's see if they stay put looks like they are heading that direction he freezes up the single inferno not sure why he did it that I would have frozen up the scatter shot maybe that's beating down on from far away there. That's doing a lot more damage, but the healers are keeping him up for it. Now if this uh if this barbarian right here can get that before nope, he doesn't get it. <laughs> Everything is walking on him. Everything walks except for the queen. He has the road champion and the hogs coming in the other side there. They're gonna step up, take out the enemy road champion, working their way into the scatter shot there. The queen steps into the other scatter shot, takes it down, and she'll get both scatter shots down. But with everything walking. I don't think it's gonna happen for him. He needed some more funneling on the other side of the town hall so they didn't walk out and that is gonna be a big problem now. So nice try here by Woj, but it's gonna be a defense. He'll uh, pick up some decent percentage though. He'll break into the 80s, maybe in the 90s. There's a lot of Yetis there. They still have the healers. The healers are gonna get shot down by the air defense as he rounds the corner here, but he should be able to pick up almost all the trash on the outside, grabbing that wizard tower and keeping all these Yetis decently healthy as they round that last little area. A couple archers, wizards are down and he will get, uh, looks like mid eighties. So not bad. Kinda, I kinda saw that coming with the test. As soon as you see them pop there, you're just like, well, crap. <laughs> Well, crap. Uh, I guess that's going to throw everything off. Yeah. Nice try. Sorry about the sound issue. So, while my computer was crashed out there for a second, we had this attack go in. He did get a uh, two-star here. So, we'll watch it back here, see what went wrong. He went in with a blimp yeti smash here, coming in opposite of the town hall. But he has a blimp, so we can make up for that. Sound. <laughs> you guys are trolls. The sound is working. I can see it on my screen. It's working. It's working. <laughs> so if you're watching this on YouTube right now, we did have a little bit of technical difficulties where the sound stopped working. I had to reset the computer. And while we were resetting the computer, we had to... We had a attack go in. This one here. And... It was looking pretty good here, honestly. It wasn't bad. He uh, formed a funnel with a P.E.K.K.A on one side, but found a big Tesla farm there. Didn't really cause much problems. The Warden comes on the other side, also finds Tesla farm. But watch the single Inferno here. Single Inferno's going into a hero charge. Can be dangerous, especially if you don't have a freeze. If that locks onto the Warden, then this attack is over. So he does lock onto a Yeti. Starts charging his way in. And he can work his way into that enemy queen. And he starts losing his healers to the air defense there. So he has to pop an early Warden, which is fine. That'll actually help out because it'll get the healers to switch off of the Warden and over to the Yetis, making it so that he can get topped off and he can get the healer transfer, which is vitally important. The Rochip comes on the side there. She steps her way through the Tesla farm and works her way forward. Looking good right now. This attack had a lot of potential, but he was losing his healers to the air defense, and that was a critical mistake there. Maybe should have put the Rochip on the other side to go clear out the air defense and protect the healers because he lost all of them, and that was what caused the fail here. So then the Rochip steps under the king there. She's going to get roasted, but if she went around the top side, I think this would have been a triple, honestly. It would have forced all the troops back towards the town hall, and he could have had a couple of cleanup troops come in and clean out here. I think a small difference like that of the Rochip just coming in the other side there and uh, saving the healers would have made the difference and turned that into a triple. So, kind of on the fly decision there, trying to decide where you want to come with the road champion. In this case, he chose wrong, and he's going to come out with the two star because of it. So, nice try here by Michael, but uh, now Polish power is three for threes as uh, all two stars, I mean. So, they uh, could be in a world of hurt here if they can't get some defenses when activity red starts attacking. It is what it is. Activity red for the first strike. Let's see what we can do. He's coming in with a uh, warden walk. He's got a uh, baby dragon and minion clearing that top corner, but they're piled up and sending in the blimp to go take out the, tr the inferno. I think he could still get it over the wall there with the Yeti mice there. Does that, does this, the tornado trap there actually stop that? It doesn't. It will save him from getting the, uh, the ground expo there. 
but it doesn't stop him from getting the Inferno. Still gets exactly what he needs there for the most part. He's going to have the Hound go over to the Queen. She's going to get locked down for just a minute, kind of rushing that a little bit. Probably should have taken out the CC before he charged in, but that's all right. He has the Warden keeping up with the troops there. They're going to charge in. Here's that Rage. Warden ability comes down to push him to the Town Hall. If the Healers at that Rage, he's going to be in a really good spot here. They do. Heal is charging forward, and they're going to get onto the Yetis. Come on, Healers. Move up there. No, they're still on the Warden there. They're still on the Warden. That could hurt him here. He needs to heal a transfer off of the Warden and onto the Yetis. They do finally go, but they're not taking the jump there. They're going to wrap up into this Inferno here. A couple of them might break to the outside. A lot of them are breaking to the outside. Half of his army breaks to the outside, but the king on the inside is going to take down the eagle. The road champion's on the other side there. She might get through that single inferno. She gets it with her last hit, and she goes down. The queen working on the outside there as well. If he can get to that status shot, this really has a solid chance of tripling. He has a lot of yetis with full baskets on the outside there with the bullers and the healers and the warden. Queen wrapping on the other side, doing some good work over there. Pretty much solo. Got a wizard there helping her out a little bit, but pretty much she's going in. She's going to get down to that cannon. She's not going to make it to the scatter shot more than... That's going to be the biggest obstacle is getting to that scatter shot. But look at this. All the expos and the scatter shot are reachable from the outside. The Yeti Mites can actually take them if they can keep them alive here. So it's not over yet. It's not... It's not great, but it's not over. Warden actually is holding the healers, or most of them. He has the bowlers and Yetis holding one of the healers. As long as that doesn't hit a black mine... This realistically could go through. The Warden getting pinged down by the Expos. The healers will transfer over to the Yetis. Oh, 19 seconds. No, it's a fail. No. I was being optimistic. Not going to happen for him. 95% here. Can't quite close it out. He needed the troops to stay together. And instead, they exit the base there through the channel. One of the biggest downside or it's like the biggest defensive obstacle on this base here was that channel and trying to keep his troops to actually stay in the base there so activity red can't connect 20 minutes magnifique going in against michael from polish power coming in with a warden walk to kick it off here but his healers are getting targeted there by the arch tower trying to stop it off there with a couple balloons does get it down before it loses the healer. So one red mine away from the healer going down as he charges into this uh, multi-inferno here with the warden. He's got a pretty straight shot into it. The healers are staying off to the left or to the right side of the warden there to try to uh, make so as he rounds the corner of the town hall there. They're going to make a direct approach there and he won't get him targeted. So siege barracks on the other side. It's worth their way in there. Only a single inferno right there, but the Pekka's actually going to join the main group, and he can have the hogs that come out of there. More than likely, hogs go right into the single inferno. As long as they get that queen distracted, those hogs can do some work along that edge here. Prayer trap. Blowing them down. A bunch of the wizards there stepping up. He says, Yeti's come out of a CC. They're going to work on the outside the trash there while the rest of the Yetis and the Bullers charge in. No hogs in that one, but if he can uh, still sandwich that single, he can still sneak his Royal Champion in there maybe. Not sure exactly what his plan is for the Royal Champion. Probably can't put her in over the 9 o'clock side because he has the enemy Royal Champion right there. Unless he has an Ice Golem for her. Here we go. Royal Champion does come in through the single. The Queen actually walked. The Queen walked. The Yeti Mites help that Royal Champion get to the single Inferno. He has the Yeti Mites breaking on the outside that are going to clear out all the defenses out there and allow that Royal Champion to go straight into that multi Inferno. She's going to make her way over there. He has the Queen that came back into the base there. She's going to step up to get the enemy Royal Champion and the Scatter Shot on the left side of the base here. Royal Champion working her way to the Wizard Tower. Going to get into the Inferno finally. Inferno causing some damage. The healers are down, but the Queen is doing some good work over at the 9 o'clock. Don't lose track of her over there. She doesn't have her ability. I guess she's going to go down now. He's into the last scatter shot here. Does he have enough to get it? Royal Champion steps into it. Freeze comes down to lock it up. Moves into the Archer Tower. Warden taking the Archer Tower. Can this Royal Champion take the Archer Tower? If it does, this has a really, really good chance of a three star. He's got goblins. He has Archer Towers. He, ha or he has uh, Archers, I mean. He has a single Miner that comes in and helps out the Royal Champion. Magnifique living up to his name here. Look at the Royal Champion hitting small bombs there. Is it enough? Does she go down? Oh, she goes down to a small bomb. Are you kidding me? Does that cost him the time here? Does he have enough to get through the miner and the goblins working with the archer over there trying to get through 25 seconds? I think he's got the time here that he needs here. The goblin tripping up to the rest of the small bombs there and clearing that edge of traps. And that should be the three star on the board here for Magnifique. 
There it is with 10 seconds to spare. Magnific brings it in and brings in a three star putting activity red in the lead. Whew. <laughs> that was exciting. That was an exciting one. There we go, guys. Dr. Eric coming in here with a Pekka Yeti smash here with the Siege Barracks. Coming in with a Warden Walk to kick it off here. Normally, I don't see a, a very long Warden Walk if you do this. If you do a Warden Walk when you do this style here, you gotta save time. And so you can't do a very long Warden Walk. So he's got about 30 seconds or so before he has to go in here. Jumps already down. He has a Pekka on the side that came out of the Siege Barracks. Jumping those Wizards out. Ice Golem comes down in front. The Ice Golem is vitally important here for this style of attack. And he's gonna work his way in. Watch that Warden. Does he actually transfer the healers off to the Pekkas and the Yetis as he charges? And here we go. No bowlers on this one, so he's relying heavily on those Yeti Bites to take that out over the walls, but he's got to get full access to everything because he doesn't have a lot of things that can attack over the wall, especially with his queen walking, and he's dragging the healers with her. That's not good. He has the hogs that come out of the siege barracks. The Royal Champion working with those hogs. He's going to go right into the single inferno. Not looking too great here for Dr. Eric, but he uh, has the ward ability that was used early, so he has to take the town hall blast there. But he has the healers there, still topping him off there. The queen surviving as she rounds the corner there around the top. And it looks like the Royal Champion did go down to the single inferno. That's going to hurt him a lot here. But he's into the core of the base here. Now, does he have enough to make it through? He can reach the other single. The queen is doing some work on the outside there, cleaning all the way around the outside. She skips the trash, goes straight to the wizard tower, and continues her trek around the base here. So, if she can actually get topped off, no, she's not going to be able to get topped off because the air defense takes out her healer here. She's got a couple of wizards sprinkled around the outside there, picking up percentage, but this backside world champion will be the death of his queen. Unless he can get it with the king, and the queen can continue moving on. She does. She keeps going. This attack seems to have infinite longevity here as he continues around the base here. The last of the Yetis are going down now. That... Inferno's at low health, so let's not lose track of that. If he can get to that Inferno, then he has a chance here. But look at the look at the warden there. He couldn't decide where he wanted to attack. He couldn't decide if he wanted to go help the king get to the wall there, or if he wanted to help the P.E.K.K.A. go through the other wall. But the king needs to step up and get in a tanky position to save that queen. Otherwise, he's not going to have a chance here. Queen going to step up. She can get the arch tower down. She does before she goes down. Now she has the Tesla. Okay, she gets to the Tesla. She goes to the Wizard Tower first. Wizard Tower goes down quick. Gets into the Tesla. Gets it down right as she goes down. And he's going to come in with a 98%. 98% there. That just kept going. It kept going and going and going. A lot of things went wrong with that attack. But surprisingly, it comes all the way into a 98% here. That was crazy. Like, the, the timing of everything just kind of happening because he didn't really have any control of it over that point. It was just kind of all down and he was just watching it. And they just kept going. <laughs> it just wouldn't stop. Read on. Coming in with a Yeti kill squad hog attack. He's got 25 hogs and 6 Yetis here. Start off with the Siege Barracks. In comes uh, Ice Golem. To go funnel. Or to just clear the way there, keep these yetis alive. Okay. He's got the king over on the other side of the funnel there. Gonna try to go and clear out the trash over here and drive the yetis into the town hall. So the yetis are gonna have a lot of firepower here. He's gonna have the hogs come out of the siege barracks and they should go up and he can have the red champion join them and he can have more hogs come into the siege barracks up here. So, or not siege barracks, um, through the... Scatter shots, I mean, but he's into the town hall area waiting until he gets that town hall down and make sure he has it locked in before he sends in the rest of the warden ability does carry the yetis through and the town hall blast does hit the yetis which will release a bunch of yeti mice there jumping over the wall that rides the eagle striking as well it would have been awesome if they got the the bomb towers he doesn't get the bomb towers he has the hogs that are coming in from the other side road champion working with them road champion trying to keep her distance from that single inferno freezes the scatter shot road champion will step all the way through those wizard towers gonna get some great value out of her as she works on the outside there the queen and the warden actually join Joining up and the king walking the core there is gonna go take out the bomb tower. He's getting distracted by some ground skills there for just a second. Does he keep the hogs out of the bomb tower? He doesn't, but he has a heal down. One more scatter shot here. 
He has the uh, Roach Champion ability pinged down to low health there, half health, and the Infernal is also at half health. The Roach Champion does step into it. Does she take the single Inferno? She's locked on to. Gets it down before she goes down. Couple of ground skellies, but the King of the Queen. Queen still has ability. He's got a couple of Wizards up on the top side here. Only one. So if the Wizard splits weird, he could tie it, face some time issues, but I don't think that's going to be a problem. He's got over a minute left here, and everything is down. The Roach Champion is to step up and take out that last corner Tesla, and Dudon is going to lock in a second triple here for activity raid putting them to hopefully a 12 minimum that's gonna make it very difficult for polish power to come back here they don't got a lot of attacks left so popping that queen ability swagging it at the end and activity red lands the three star beautiful kill squad attack there with a yeti kill squad two ice golems and 25 hogs no 34 hogs if you count the ones in the siege barracks that was crazy that was great i like that I uh, I want to see more of that attack. I want to see more of that attack. That was really cool. That's one you don't see super often, but I guess on that split base there, it works great because the Yetis only need to push in and take the town hall on one half and the hogs can sweep the other. So on the split base of the channel, that would make it very difficult for a full on Yeti Spanish to cross the center. I guess it makes sense that you do that. All right, guys, King of Mine coming in. The person who clutched the last war to get them into the playoffs here. King of Mine coming in with a Queen Charge Hog Miner hybrid and he's got the Siege Barracks. So which way is he trying to send his Queen? He sends in the healers, but they're inside the range of that Archer Tower. They're going to start getting pinged down and they're not going to get away from that Archer Tower for quite a while. Tesla pops up there. Trying to go. Is he trying to go up? gonna go down he's gonna engage the enemy king here in just a second the king's gonna step up and he's gonna draw the queen off he's losing another healer there to that arch tower ping down he finally drops in a balloon range of that uh, air defense there it's gonna protect it and he's like two balloons there to snipe it off there doesn't get it queen gets through the king there didn't have to use her ability put down a wizard because there was no other damage right there so just a wizard will save him a rage there and save him the ability loses another healer Finally, away from that archer tower, and it can continue on an attack here. King comes down. She's gonna fight off the royal champion. He uh, rages. What the purpose of that rage was. Like, why rage now? You had all that opportunity to rage, and he rages now, and he's not even gonna get any wall breakers action through that as well. The king pops his ability there. And his extra arches there would have given him enough tanking off that multi inferno that he could have got through. He instead uses the freeze anyways. The queen getting locked down, and she is going to end up walking on him here. He can't really save her anymore. Nothing he can do. This queen is going for walkies and have to send the hogs and the miners through the town hall. He has the siege barracks coming down the other side there, and he sends in the miners. Oh god, this is in one star. This is gonna one star. Queen goes down. Um. Yeah. No. Yeah. Identify that your queen's gonna walk there before you send in the main force of the attack here, guy. Oh no. Does he have a way to get through this town hall? It's a lot of damage right there. He's got multiple expos. He's in between an inferno. He's got the eagle firing down. He freezes it up there, trying to get through it. He does get the town hall down. Oh man, I was worried there. I was really, really worried there that he wasn't gonna get it down. He's not gonna make it to that scatter shot on the backside. Had to throw everything he had there to get through the town hall and without the queen going in there. Yeah, this had no uh, chance there. No chance there. Uh, that early rage there on the queen, like it almost messed him up. It almost hurt him more than anything because it sped the queen up and the king wasn't done fighting the CC. He was locked up there. Huh. Oh. I mean, he's still getting 80% here. <laughs> still gonna get over 80%. Like, uh, this attack... It is pretty forgiving. Like, do you have so many backup plans built in this attack here? You can make adjustments. I feel like he did get a little bit lucky on that one. I think even if he did end up failing that, he's got a nice lead here. Polish power now has to get two triples because they don't have any triples on the board here. If they want to advance in the playoffs here, they have to get two triples. Tacky. Lurobi show coming in with a uh, queen charge hogbinder hybrid as well. He's got the he's got the blimp. A couple tests there popping up while he's trying to fight through that mortar. Does that mess up his funnel? 
doesn't get the Tesla down, the queen might... I don't know which way she's going to go here. I honestly don't know which way she's going to go. It's all up in the air right now. He puts the king down. The king's going to try to funnel her in. Wait until he actually had the queen to actually be under a little bit of damage there by the cannon. Maybe on accident. Maybe on purpose. Hard to really tell there. The queen is going to round the corner there. And she will go upward on the base here. Going after that uh, elixir collector. And she will walk and join the king here. So fight out the CC. Not terrible to fight the CC, but... If he blimps the town hall, he can still send in the hogs and the miners right through the 730 area, and he sends in the siege barracks instead. He's going to siege barracks. He's trying to keep these miners nice and central. I think either would have been okay here, but he's got the sweeper there, and if he hits a tornado trap, which the queen hasn't hit yet, then it could have caused some big problems. He has another live attack here in, but let's see how this one's going to play out. Best start, but not terrible. Wall break doesn't let the queen go in. She's going to continue along the edge there, which is fine. It's going to keep all the miners and the hogs centered, but he's going to have to get this town hall down. He's going to be under two scattershot fire while he does it. Let's see if he can work his way in. He's not going to be able to use his warrant ability early because he's not going to have the town hall down. Honestly, I think he should have taken the town hall with a blimp and thrown in a couple miners and whizzes out there to go clear trash, but he's working his way through. Does he get to the town hall? Yetis are going to go out of the siege barracks and they're going to go and try to take the town hall over the wall there with the Yeti mites, but it's causing too much damage. They have to travel too far and I think it's going to be a big problem here. The Royal Champion inside of the Warden ability is going to step up. She'll take the town hall. He still has the Warden ability or the Warden ability is used. I mean, he still has the Royal Champion ability, but she steps right up into the single Inferno and she's going to go down. So it's going to be a defense for activity red let's uh bounce out of this one we'll go into the other one see if they can at least get one triple on the board here we got venny gaming coming in here and he's coming in with a e-drag to form one side of the funnel the warden walk to form the other side and here comes the yetis charging in the town hall he's got the siege barracks where does he want to use the siege barracks it's going to be over on the flank to go and keep everything inside of the base here as he charges through he's got one more jump to push him over into the eagle that'll actually let him get access to the other scatter shot but only two jumps in this one. I feel like you need a third jump. I feel like you need a third jump to go into the other scatter shot, the other inferno, and the eagle artillery, or just quad quake it all the way from here to the other side of the like where they're standing right now. If you put a quad quake right at that spot there, I think it would open up a massive amount of the base there. But it is going to make the troops kind of more stay together, I guess, and they're going to stay and push towards the top side as the Siege Barracks releases some hogs. The Royal Champion will sweep through with them. Healers are getting targeted by the Inferno a little bit. Not too bad. Or is this targeting the Warden? The Queen's going to finally come up and join. She can actually reach that other scatter shot over the wall. It's looking really good here for Vetti Gaming. Maybe he doesn't need that extra jump there. Freezes up the scatter shot, giving the Queen enough time to get through it. And she does get it down right there. There it goes. And he's got a uh, troll test up in the corner. Any more Trotessas? No more Trotessas around the map. He's got the Valkyrie up there that's going to try to work his way through it. I don't think she can make it twice through that Trotessa. Now she goes directly to it. She doesn't. But the Baby Dragon's up there as well. Rock Champion pops her ability right. She goes down to the enemy king. The Inferno's weak in there. 34 seconds. The, the queen has her ability and she has the healers here. It's looking like it's going to be a triple unless he somehow time fails this. He's got a couple walls to get through. The baby dragon could honestly go all the way up in there if it doesn't get targeted. It does get targeted. It's going to go down to the inferno before it can get there. Air Skelly's pop. That's going to distract the queen for just a little bit. Costing him just those ever precious couple seconds of time here. The king trying to beat through the wall there. The yeti's beating on another wall. The queen probably going to go find her own separate wall to get through. He does get through it. Four. Three. Two, one. Oh, he gets it on the buzzer. He gets it on the buzzer. Vendy Gaming with no time to spare. Lands the three star to close out the war here. A little bit too little, too late. But it is a three star. It is a three star. And Activity Red does take the win here. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today. Thanks, everybody, for coming out and joining us. We will continue to watch these teams as they advance into the playoffs here. And join us back again. Make sure that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next one.